So let's throw the battery in and we should have lights. And there you go. Very simple. I'm really disappointed that the blue LED melted like that. Looks like they're not very good quality LEDs. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So I've had a lot of requests on tips on how to get better at soldering. And really the only way you can get better at soldering is obviously to solder. So what I recommend is you pick up a few of these learn to solder kits. I got these on Amazon for I think $12 a piece. So I figured I would make a video for you so that way you can watch this as a guide and maybe learn some stuff. My old job that I used to do this was something I would do all day every day and I did it for eight years so I'd like to think I'm pretty good at doing it. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and make this video where I show you how to solder these. So I think first I'm going to do the blink one. This one looks like it's a jitterbug. I think there might be a vibrator type thing in here. I'm not actually really sure but either way they both light up. This one here looks to have a few switches and some LEDs resistors and then a battery tray as well as a battery. I'm guessing we're just gonna push the buttons and it's gonna light up. Fairly simple here. The first thing you want when you're doing something like this is some type of a stand like this just so that way when you're soldering whatever it is you are soldering is not moving around all over the place on you. So we're gonna use these clips to keep the board in place while we put all the different components into the board and then solder them on. Obviously you're also going to need a soldering iron and some solder. I mean, that's pretty much it. Let's open this up. So we have this little card here with information on it. In another bag, we have some resistors, three LEDs, red, green, and blue, the battery tray holder, and three buttons, the board, and a battery. So the first thing we're gonna do, gonna put this right in here so it has a nice place to sit. So my camera was completely facing the floor, so I missed what I was doing. In any case, I'm gonna do it again. Really all I did was cut with these snips, these leads off this here, and then you bend them, and we're just gonna slide them inside here from, and then do the same for these other two slots. And I'm just going to push them outwards so they don't fall off while I turn it upside down. Next, we want to be able to rinse off our soldering iron. So we want to make sure the sponge has some water on it. And of course, plug in your soldering iron, turn it on. So let's put it back here. All right, now you just get your solder. I'm going to rip a little piece off because I don't need a lot. And then we're just going to put a little bit of solder on the tip. And you're just going to put the tip to the edge and then just put the solder in and pull away quickly. Same thing on this side, tap it, solder in, pull away quickly. Finish these off the same way. Get a little hot, solder down in, let it boom, pull away. Get it a little hot, let the solder down in, let it flow, and then pull away. Let's check our work. Pretty good. And same thing for the last two holes. Let it flow, pull away. Add the solder, let it flow, pull away. And that's pretty good, guys. It's looking all right. Okay, so now we're just gonna clip these off. I would always put your finger here so you don't shoot them up in your eyes. And make sure you're always wearing safety glasses when you do this. And there you go, these are soldered in place. Next, we're gonna do the push buttons. These will actually push through, so these will stay when we flip it. And it's the same process, guys. Tap the lead, drop the solder, pull away. Tap the lead, drop the solder, pull away. Wipe your iron, and there you go. You can see that every single one of these has some good solder flow to it. So we can see from the picture that it looks like the battery tray goes in this direction here. This one's not really stuck in place. Here's a little trick, guys. 
Take a little bit of solder, face this down. Since these don't really stay in place, they're pretty loose, we're just gonna do one lead. And that should be enough solder to keep it in place, see? Now we can put it here, and we'll do the rest of the leads. This is now soldered in place as well. We just wanna overview everything, make sure things are good. And the last step is the LED. All we have left is to do the LEDs. Another thing you wanna make sure guys, when you're done soldering, you wanna be sure there's nothing shorting out. And when I mean shorting out, that means solder from this to this is touching or anywhere else, that there's any solder balls like this anywhere, because that will also cause interference and things won't work. Okay, so as you can see, one of the leads broke off. Pretty disappointing. It happened on the blue LED, and I think it's probably beyond repair. Okay guys, so we're just gonna scrap the blue LED. A little disappointed in this kit. In any case, we're done. Let's go ahead and trim all of these. Okay, once again, we're gonna go through and make sure that none of the leads are touching. Looks good. So let's throw the battery in and we should have lights. And there you go. Very simple. I'm really disappointed that the blue LED melted like that. Looks like they're not very good quality LEDs. So hopefully this video helped you understand soldering a little bit better. In part two, we're gonna do the jitterbug. So stick around for that video. If you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm gonna get another blue LED so we can finish this because that kind of really gets on my nerves that that one broke. In any case, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, click the like button, click the subscribe button, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. See ya.